are you wanting to make money using your YouTube channel? You have a small channel and you feel like I don't have enough followers, I can't make money, but I'm here to tell you that yes, you can. I'm going to give you three tips that you can use to help build your channel and work towards building that profitable business. Um, so our title today is how to make money on YouTube, even if you have a small channel. My name is Vanessa DeBerlay and on my channel, I am here to help you earn money, save time and find balance in your life. So today we're going to talk about earning money. That's what we're, we're talking about on this one. So I'm going to give you three tips to help you as you build your channel. And number one is understand certain human emotional needs. And what I mean by that is everybody has these uh, needs that are basically put into three categories, health, wealth, and relationship. And you'll hear a lot of people say, um, find a niche, you know, when, when you start your business. And that's basically one of those three niches is what we're talking about. Why just those three niches? These are three basic categories for emotion, uh, for human needs that will not go away. They'll be there forever never, never. ever. So if you produce content that is in the health category or the wealth category or the relationship category, you will always have a market and we call those evergreen markets. They never go away because humans will be humans, right? So what you need to do is think about which category do I want to provide content for? So when you're creating your channel um, and creating content, you want to stay within that that one niche or that one need. Basically mine is wealth. I, I know a lot of people come on my channel because they want to learn how to make money, how to become wealthier. There's other people that focus on the relationship and health. Um, health, a lot of people even um, go off on, on um, different uh, niches that, that, that they narrow it. Let's say in the health category, um, you might say health and fitness, but some people might go off into the beauty category. And maybe within beauty, they may concentrate on hair or concentrate on makeup or concentrate on clothes. So you see within that category, you can even continue to narrow down your content. But the important thing is, stay within those three categories. So if you're going into wealth, stay within wealth. I'm not going to start showing you um, how to buy a style of shoes or something on my channel because I'm not in that category. All right. So basically pick one of those three things, health, wealth, or relationships. Number two, create valuable content that helps people with these needs. So again, you're in the health category, all of your content on your YouTube channel should be about health. And like I said, if you narrowed it down to fashion, then everything should be mostly about fashion. Now you could stay within the health realm and concentrate on fashion, but you don't want to start talking about wealth. You have to keep it separate. And the more that you create that content, you're going to be helping people with these needs. You know what the problems are. Like if, if somebody's in the health industry and they want to lose weight, that is the problem that you're trying to solve. So all of your content will focus on how to lose weight, how to exercise or how to eat healthy, um, mindset, anything that helps that person solve needs, that's the value, the content that you're providing naturally by default, because you're on YouTube, people are searching for answers. They will land on your channel because you, they have found you that you are fulfilling a need for them. You're you're solving problems for them. And by default, they will find you and they will start to follow you. And by default, you will start to build your audience. Now, number three, to make money, you want to sell a digital product. That is the easiest, most profitable way to make money online. And you might say, well, what kind of a digital product could I make? A lot of people will create a course. Um, you've already got content. You're already an expert in the field that you're in. You could create a video course. It's digital. And then it's there forever. You do all the upfront work and then you can sell that course. Now, the average sale of a course usually runs 397 to 497 somewhere in there and you don't have to sell a course that expensive if you're just starting out actually i would recommend staying under a hundred dollars so don't build a course that's huge and it's worth a thousand but build something that is significant it's valuable um, and then sell it for 97 or sell it for 47 if you're just starting out. And then as you start seeing that people like your content and they're buying it and you perfect your 
product, then maybe you could build something bigger and for a larger price. And those same people might come back and buy again. And I want to give you an example. If you have like a thousand people on your email list, and we'll, that's a whole nother topic, but um, that's one way you start to sell your product. Um, let's say we're a thousand followers, let's say that, and they all are loyal followers and you start to sell your product even if only 10 of them bought a product at $497, that's $5,000. And that's how people are making money on YouTube. They are providing a link and saying, hey, do you wanna check this out? And people go to that link and then they buy. Now, again, they're not gonna do it right away and not everybody will, but the more you have, um, it's like a numbers game, the, the, the certain percent will buy from you and a certain percent will keep buying from you. Um, I wanted to, point out too that some people will say well i don't want to make a product there's two different things you can do you could go to a, a platform called fiverr.com and you could find somebody that will create the product for you now the bad thing if you do a video it's better if you have yourself on there because you're the one with the training if that makes sense so if you're on youtube you shouldn't have a problem with that but maybe you could make the videos and then have somebody on fiverr um, fix them up and make them more professional for you if you feel like you need that the other thing that you can do is just sell somebody else's course and that would be affiliate marketing there are a lot of people out there selling courses there some people are selling them for a thousand dollars 997 and they're offering affiliates 50 percent of that so you could push somebody else's product and make money that way as well you're referring the product now i do recommend that you check the person out selling it and if you feel comfortable that is quality then sell it but don't just go out there and sell any product because i think if people are upset are dissatisfied with the quality of the products that you're promoting, then you're going to lose fans. If that makes sense, they're going to stop watching you unsubscribe and then you learn, lose that fan base. But that's basically how people make money using YouTube. Now below, I have some links for you. There is a link for you, um, for fiverr.com um, so that you can go check that out if you'd like uh, another link for the channel, the playlist for this um, channel. And then, the other link is probably the most important link. If you have not started a business and you're really not sure about what steps to take to create that business, there's behind the scenes things that you have to do because of taxes and things like that. I have a free PDF that you can hit the link below. It's a business starter kit and it will show you 12 steps of what you can go through those steps to make sure you create your business. You've got to set up a proprietorship or an LLC, um, things like that, so that when you go to file taxes, that, that you are looked at as a legitimate business. Um, those are things you have to do anyway, no matter what business that you start. So three links below, make sure you check them out. And thank you for coming today. I hope this was helpful. Um, we'll see you on the next video.